So the objectives are to acknowledge how isometric drawing can be used to create a 3D projection of an object. The success criteria um, is to show I've completed the questionnaire to understand how an isometric drawing is projected onto a page and that I can draw a representation of how an object would look on an A4 page when seen in an isometric projection. So, let's begin task one. Nice and simple. For task one, we just answer the questions on slide three, which I'll click through just to show you. On slide three here, these are the questions you'll be answering. All you have to do is click on this link seen here. This will take you to a YouTube video that I'll click on that will look like this. I'm not going to watch through it because you can. So all the answers for your questions on slide three will be in this YouTube video. And just some reminders, don't give one word answers. Make sure to answer your questions in full sentences and make sure to use your art elements when answering questions. So when you've completed these questions, we're going to move on to task two. It's okay if all you get done is the questions today. This is just an extension task uh, for those who finish quickly. So what we're going to do in task two, we're going to have a go at recreating five of the forms shown. Um, you're going to sketch these freehand without a ruler and don't trace them. This is an opportunity for you to have a go at drawing an isometric. And if you're still struggling with drawing these, use the clip that we saw on slide two and that'll give you some tips on how to draw these isometric projections. <laughs> Lastly, once you've done your drawings, post them on this page for me to see. And the last step, once you've completed today's task, just submit your assignment through Google Classroom.